When I first used it, I got those comically bad results. I think I put something in like add flowers and I got some really, really dodgy bright red roses. So it does take a little bit of time to get used to, but the extending the image, if you've cropped it a little funny and chopped off something that you can't naturally easily recreate, it's really, really realistic. So you can see here that I took this image just round the back of my house by the bins. And by adding in my own rhododendrons that I'd taken on a different shoot, I managed to generative fill more rhododendrons until I created a full wall of flowers that weren't actually there. But they look so realistic. And even when you zoom in, they look real. And this kind of leads me to one of the first negative concerns and I think feelings of unease that people are having with AI is that this is the first time we've ever seen as photographers, as artists, the first time we've ever seen better quality, faster workflow, all be associated and talent actually, talent, be associated with something that isn't about working harder and about growing your own skill set. And I think that in itself is why a lot of people feel a bit uncomfortable and resistant to leaning into AI. 